Our book this time is another old book. This is called Little Max the Cement Mixer, and this book used to belong to Linda. Who's Linda? You'll have to ask Mommy who that is, okay? Little Max the Cement Mixer. One day, all the cement mixers at Mr. Appleby's truck yard were lined up, ready to go to work. Little Max, the smallest mixer in the yard, got into line behind them. The big cement mixer stared down at him coldly and asked, Just where do you think you're going? I'm coming along to help build the bridge, Max replied proudly. The cement mixers began to laugh. You can't build a bridge. You're too small. You'd only be in the way. Little Max ignored their remarks and followed them to the bridge. He'd show them that he, too, could do big, important jobs. Little Max watched silently as the other mixers approached the brig, bridge and poured out their cement. When his turn came, he drew up, ready to pour out his load. But when the engineer saw him, saw how small Max was, he shouted, Get this mixer out of here! It's too small for this job! Oh, feeling disgraced, Max hung his cab in shame and drove meekly back to the yard. The next day, the cement mixers went in town to build a huge skyscraper building. Again, Max went along to show them that he could do a big job. They laughed when he joined them, but with his drum whirling smoothly, he followed the big cement mixers to the building site, and there he proudly poured out his cement. Once again, the engineer shouted at him to get out of the way, and Max drove off, feeling useless. The same thing happened another day when Max tried to help build a huge superhighway. The engineer just didn't think just didn't want him because he was so small. Little Max felt like a complete failure. He never wanted to work again. Never. But one morning, just as the others were starting off for work, a strange man came to the yard and hired Max to work in the park. As the, in the park meadow, he put Max to work pouring cement for a small bandstand. Max helped, hoped that the other cement workers wouldn't see him doing such a small, unimportant job. Max worked in the park for many days. One day, he made a round platform for a merry-go-round. On another day, he helped make a small fountain in the center of the park. He spent many hours pouring cement for long, winding sidewalks through the flower gardens. One afternoon, the other cement mixers happened to drive past the park. They were surprised to see Max, and they stared curiously at his work. Max was ashamed. Now they all knew about his small and unimportant jobs. He dreaded the thought of going home and facing their sneers. However, later as he was driving slowly and meekly into the truck yard, the other mixer suddenly began to call out to him. Did you pour cement for that pretty bandstand, Max? Did you mix cement for that lovely fountain all by yourself? You certainly made the park look beautiful. Max stared at them in surprise. He couldn't believe what he was hearing. He had never thought of his work as being beautiful and worthwhile. Yet, here they all were, all the big important cement mixers, actually admiring his work. Max beamed with pride as he suddenly realized that small jobs can be important too. From that day on, little Max never felt bad that he couldn't do a big project. He knew that no matter how small his jobs were, if he did them really well, he could make the world a lovelier place in which to live. The End